hello guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to do um it's a reading that was requested uh by one of my subscribers uh it's for tbsq juno and boa so yes let's see their energies let's see how they feel about each other i heard that they had been friends for a very long time um well, they had been part of the company and they had um, been artists for a very long time. So I'm sure they do have a bond. So let's see what the tarot have to say about um, their dynamic at the moment. Um, so I placed Juno on the, on the left and Boa on the right. Um, I know that Juno is an Aquarius with the moon in Capricorn. And I know that Boa is uh, a Scorpio, but I do not know um, her her moon her moon sign. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, I can see uh, her Scorpionic traits in here, so I think I will use and guide myself through that energy. Um, so yes, uh, Juno got the cards of um, the Six of Wands, the Death card, and the Queen of Swords. So definitely uh, Juno is feeling victorious. Uh, um, I think I, I read for him and for Chamin at the same time. And I think that uh, he definitely feels very, very like a champion you know like he really sort of defeated something and i i don't know what it is maybe it's something personal of his uh, but he definitely enters this new this new year with a lot of a lot of bravery you know like him feeling really courageous like him like uh connecting again with his um with his power you know i think that he's he's someone that he always tries to give his best and he's always like trying to keep the energy up i think that he's very professional in that sense uh, but he's going through a transformation internally i can see here with the death card and i can see it here with the queen of swords so definitely this is going to be times for do not to um, actually, he's going to act very different from what his usual self is. And I think that it has to do with the standing up for himself. Um, I believe he's a very brave guy, but sometimes I think that his energy for me seems a bit too rigid. You know, in a sense that he, he wants to maintain a certain order that no longer applies, you know, and that probably for these times being um, he should be a bit more open-minded and flexible i don't know if i'm making sense and here with the with the queen of swords from his side i sense that he is going to start to speak a few truths you know and also defend his posture and defend himself through communication i see him also being very sharp with his comments so there's something going on there's something going on and i think that probably he he had a sort of battle with someone or a sort of like discussion with someone where he was uh he was victorious, so that's where he calls, his confidence comes from. So maybe he, he's starting feeling very brave and he wants to continue being that way. Uh, probably he got a lot of things out of his chest as well, you know, when it comes to communication. He finally said what he wanted to say or he, he was able to keep things fair and balanced for him. So I'm really happy for him. And you know all this. Uh, I'm mentioning this because I see that his relationship with Boa at the moment is a relationship of a lot of communication, and I think that it's also um, a lot of like um, he's sharing with her this experience of his, you know, that he is changing, that he is transforming, that he is 
somehow opening his mind to other possibilities. I don't know what is it about, but it seems like he's feeling more free to be himself, you know, and he's like, he's feeling victorious, you know, and I think that he is like advising her, I don't know which one of them is the oldest, but it, I think it's not about, uh, it's not about age, actually, I sense his energy that he is kind of older brother, kind of, he's very overprotective of her, and I think that he wants her to be safe as well, so probably if he had a sort of experience that he he felt like he finally was able to win something probably he wants to advise her or, or gives her a heads up you know that she should start doing the same you know and sharing his tactics you know sharing his strategic strategies you know being like mm, maybe you should go for this way i see them like having a lot of discussion and actually very wise very wise and very and you know it's all about taking control uh, of their career so there's something there very interesting you know there's the probably something happened because uh, I actually the energy that I always get from Juno is that he always follows the rules you know he's someone that he is very respectful and now he's like becoming a bit of a tough guy you know in the sense that he's not going to let people mess with him anymore and he's cutting a lot of connections as well he's like being very cutthroat you know like okay like I don't want to happen for to go through this anymore and I don't want other people to get hurt as well and and you know that it's it's interesting because he got the queen of of swords and Boa got the king of swords in her part she got the king of swords um, the eight of um, pentacles and the six of swords so definitely they do share the same element and they do share the same attitude towards life or towards their careers um, they have a sort of very similar mindset and i think that they are very hardworking people they are very patient but once they had enough they had enough and they really transform into very i wouldn't say aggressive people but they start spitting the truth you know they, they start like you know like spitting fire almost you know like like a rapper <laughs> um there's something about them trying to keep things just and fair for them and there's something also about them speaking their truth and you know i always mention the importance of the card of queen and king you know when you have a queen and a king it means that your energy is represented by someone that has experience you know we all know that they have it but they somehow are also owning this because i i have read for people that actually they have lived a lot or they had gone through a lot of experiences in their lives and actually they still remain in the energy of a page for example or of a knight so you know not all of all of the every not everyone gets a queen or a king archetype um, um i call it archetypes here because i want you to understand the power of these characters actually uh, they are the ones in this case they are the ones holding the sword so they are the one holding uh, holding the the, the, narr the narrative of what's going on in their lives and they are being very very like rational and also very intellectual about how to proceed you know and they are sitting in their thrones and they are seeing things crystal clear for the first time so this is going to be a year of a lot of revelations again i hope so um because a boy in the case of boy i see her like working like she will definitely be busy uh, she will also uh, take a look at a lot of um she will be rehearsing a lot she will be like looking at a lot of um 
like small details, you know. She is very organized in her work. She is a, such a professional. Um, and she also wants to take this, um, this project of uh, Girls on Tap to a, a, another level or a next level. You know, she probably wants to um, guide others, you know, and she, she's enjoying her, herself. She's really into the project. So it doesn't matter what people say about the, um, about the project itself. Uh, I think that uh, definitely she is excited about this. Um, she's inspired, actually. And I think that, yes, there's something about their, the talks. I think that what she has in common also with Juno is that they are both very loyal people. They are very loyal, and sometimes being loyal is is hard. Sometimes you know to be loyal. It, it's a sort of bittersweet kind of experience because when you are loyal, you it's easy for you to see other people's disloyalties, especially in this business. You know, especially in in the environment that they work on. They truly believe from their heart that they are doing the right thing by remaining loyal. But there will become, there will come in a moment, you know, a moment will come where actually they will have to open their eyes to clarity, to evidence, to proof, to actions, you know, to things being said, things being heard. I think that um, they are the people that, you know, they sometimes they can be a bit stubborn in the sense that probably there's a lot of opinions or a lot of gossipy, a lot of gossips in the air. And it, it seems like they, they hear what people say, but they don't pay attention. They're always busy. They're always working. They're always keeping themselves entertained or busy because these are people that they love to be busy uh, so it seems like they evade from what's really going on in front of their eyes by working a lot and I definitely see her like unconsciously she knows that she probably needs to go on a journey by herself and I don't know if maybe this this means about I don't know uh, finishing her contract with SM, I don't think so actually because I don't see a card of in the case of you know like like a cut or like a turn of events. Um, I think that she just wants to move on. She wants to move on in the sense that she wants to reach different goals because uh, it, this is what she knows how to do the best to work. You know, so as long as she has work, she will remain there. And it's the same with Juno, you know, it's the same with Juno. Juno is going through a, trans a transformation. He's also seen a lot of evidence and a lot of proof that he had been ignoring. He's starting to see the red flags. But nevertheless, he also remains in this sort of a state of, like, I do the best I can with what I have. You know, probably these are very grateful people. Um, they also, they, they are not selfish at all. They think about the people that works for them. You know, they think about the staff. They think about a lot of people. Um, they are not just worried about their themselves and that's it. They are worried about leaving people without jobs, you know. So this is why sometimes they they keep going, you know, they keep going. I see that this is, uh, I don't see actually that they have this sort of, that they love to be part of the same. There's not like a love anymore here. There's not like an emotional attachment uh, because I don't, I don't even see them to be that emotional even. I think that this uh, professionalism of them and, and you know, all these years had definitely uh, toughened them. You know, they had become a bit numb to emotions. You know, they definitely show that they care for people, showing uh, that their loyalty. 
you know they they show they show up they get things done they are very responsible they try to help others they love to assist others they love to give advice to others and be a sort of example to others but there's something about their emotional world that it's a bit hardened you know it's a bit like it's a bit like black because of all the times they felt like they had to protect themselves. You know, and I think that this has to do with the exposures of being famous, you know, that it seems like you have developed a sort of shell around yourself where, yes, you show your body, you show your charisma, you show your... Um, all your external attributes, but inside you are a bit numb, you know. Um, and it's because of the fear of being criticized at the same time, you know. They tend to get a bit, like, um, cold, you know. Uh, and then um, in the... Um, in the, in the cards that came out as an overall energy, they got the, the hangman, the page of cups, and the nine of pentacles. So, yes, starting off with the, with the, with the hangman, definitely they, um, they went through, um, they are in moments of where they no longer blame themselves for mistakes of the past. They are also forgiving themselves. They are allowing themselves to to adapt to this new reality. Um, they are also, like I mentioned in the past, that they, I see their energy being really stubborn. So even though they are very young people, it's not that they are old. Uh, somehow the old, the new management he or the new way of doing things, maybe they don't approve of everything, especially because when they started, things were a lot more demanding out of that it wasn't nice, actually, that it wasn't positive. But the, the idols were demanded a lot of things, uh, a lot of sacrifices, I, I would say, you know, like, when it comes to, um, you know, having friends, you know, being able to do your, your everyday life or, or, you know, you didn't have that much freedom. You have a sort of system that you had to respond to and you have to show up and you have to show your results and you had to be an ace. Um, so for them now, they're slowly through this very loving connection that they have for each other they are slowly like letting go of um of this coldness you know i think that definitely they make each other feel emotional there's something about them that they just look at each other and they just know they know that the other one is making the effort and and they just look at each other and they just know you know and i think that this is these are people that, like I mentioned, I always uh, mention, I give this example, that probably they are not the most affectionate, but they are these people that if they are standing beside you or they are sitting near you when you are feeling down or when you need them and they just show up and are there, just standing there like a rock, it means that they care. They care about you, and they are this, this. They are this sort of rock for each other. You know, like okay, you can, you can lean on me. You know, I'm, 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 I'm okay. We are going to be okay. There's a very warm uh, feelings towards each other. You know, they really admire each other's strengths, and at the same time, I think that they are also celebrating that they are accomplishing a, a few things for their careers as well. You know, I think that they really are very happy and very proud of each other's work or each other's trajectory. They are really happy that they still are still going on. You know, they, I, I don't know, there's something about their history that I feel it like energetically because I do not know them. But I feel like they are really proud of everything that they went through, that every, uh, every 
Every moment that they felt like they wanted to give in, but they decided to keep going. You know, uh, these moments where they felt like they had enough and they were just very overwhelmed by everything and they wanted to quit and they stayed no matter what. So, you know, they have this sort of image of the past of that, yes, it was tough, but it was their decision. You know, this is something that um, here seeing this... Uh, this nine of pentacles, you know, they are able to see the results of their work. They are able to see, um, I don't know, their finances, or they are able to see like physical results of all their, uh, how committed they are and they were back then, where, when it was easier to give up. Because I feel like they were pressured a lot of times or they were put in positions where they wanted to quit, really, because the stress and the amount of pressure was a lot, uh, especially for their minds. You know, they were very impressionable back then, but they just kept going, you know, like soldiers, you know, like, like warriors, like soldiers, you know. These are people that once they have an objective in mind or a goal in mind, they will not stop until they get it. So yes, they have in common that they are very stubborn, both of them, but this is part of them being loyal to their dream as well. I think that they acknowledge that they are where they are because they, this was once a dream of theirs, you know, to be where they are right now. So they do not regret any decision of the past. So yes, guys, this is all I have for them. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you are fans of them, I would love to hear from you and your perspective about this reading. So thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.